What's up internet, Victor for Fonorin here with the first quick demonstration of Android 4.3 on the Samsung Galaxy S4 GT9505. This is the, the international version with the Snapdragon processor and we've just uh, seen Android 4.3 Jelly Bean leak out uh, for, for the SGS4. We've uh, flashed the file and now we have uh, the stock version, the first look of Android 4.3 and um, you see there, are, there aren't really any huge differences. The interface is largely the same. You can see that we have this new live wallpaper um, but for the Sunbeam live wallpaper there's nothing major and uh, the biggest change is in the camera. If you go into the camera you see the new camera menu here uh, you used to have a circular uh, menu with all the options right here. Now that's changed and we actually find it more convenient this new way. And all the options are accessible if you press this button, button on the bottom and you use uh, this radio toggle just to focus. So basically you have all your options for the camera. Uh, that's how they look like. You have, we can select HDR to shoot in HDR mode or not. You have the exposure have some basic settings here like the timer and so on. You can also select to uh, whether you, you'd use or won't use flash and you also can switch to the front facing camera and we'll just go back to the main camera right now. So that's probably the biggest change that uh, Google has made to Android 4.3. And in terms of other changes and why uh, does it even exist? So the reason, most of the reasons are under the hood. So we will just quickly run uh, Antu to actually we have the score here and originally when we ran our tests on the 4.2 based uh, uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 we got around 24,000, 25,000 uh, on Antu to here the score is slightly higher and uh, we can't really say if that's because of the model or the new Android version that's just um, slightly higher, 26,000 and almost 700. And if you go into Android system settings, you'd notice that we have support for Bluetooth low energy, the new uh, protocol, the new standard that will allow you to connect to devices without using much power and you'd connect via Bluetooth. So a lot of those little changes uh, under the hood, performance improvements, slight upgrades that are not immediately obvious to the end user. Um, this version is easy to install. You can go on and install it yourself on if you if you have a Samsung Galaxy S4 model GT9505. So you can install this without any problems. And basically that's it. Uh, we don't even know if Google is going to have a major new announcement for this version. At this point we think it's mostly uh, performance upgrades and the biggest change will come with uh, probably Key Lime Pie, a version that is also not official yet. But as of right now, that's a quick overview of Android 4.3 on the Samsung Galaxy S4. And let me just show you quickly that this indeed is Android 4.3. And there you go, you can see this is this right here. Uh, thank you for watching and for more videos, subscribe to Phone Arena. Bye bye.